what's good what's good what's good girl i am natasia j welcome to my channel or welcome back if you read the title then you know it is time to glow up this laziness or slump that you've been stuck in is literally taking over but that's coming to an end today it's about to get a little crazy up in here a little crazy i'm giving tips about everything I don't understand how some of us expect to glow up without putting in any effort or just laying in bed all day. Like, how does that work, sis? Please tell me. I would love to lay in the bed and just get better every day. Y'all keeping secrets or something? Y'all know I don't like these long intros, so we just gonna get into it. So tip number one is get up. First and foremost, girl, you gotta get out of bed, okay? You have to make the decision to get up, get out of bed. Number two is set standards, okay? You have to literally set standards for yourself. Once you make the choice and decide that you want to be better, it's time to take a deep look at yourself and really understand what you will accept and what you won't accept from yourself. To be honest, some of us are just being lazy because we allow ourselves to be lazy. I was that girl. I would lay in a bed all day when I allowed myself to. But the moment I made the choice to get up and be productive, your girl was knocking out goals like never before. So at this point, y'all, we have gotten out of bed. We have made the choice and the decision to be better, work on ourselves, and ultimately glow up. Now, let's focus on our outer appearance. Tip number three is put effort into your appearance every single day. I stand 100% behind the saying, if you look good, you feel good. You literally have to show up as who you want to be every single day. I said this in multiple videos. I am a businesswoman. I am an entrepreneur. At this point, I am a highly successful YouTuber. We are speaking it into existence, and that is who I show up as literally every single day. Now, I also understand everybody doesn't have time to get dressed up every day, to really put time and time into their appearance. So one thing that I do that I feel like has helped me still look put together, but able to to cut down on the amount of time I spend on myself is making sure I put everyday basics into my closet whether that's a nice slim fit top and some denim jeans or even cute two-piece sets y'all I love throwing on a comfortable cute two-piece set that makes me look polished when in reality your girl just threw it on <laughs> I said come on let's go look good looking good just like that Another tip I have for you guys as far as your appearance is figure out what looks good on your body type. Sometimes it's not even the fact that you don't know how to dress or you don't know what your style is. We do have to figure out what looks right on our body shape. What looks good on me may not look good on you. What looks good on you may not look good on me. I also already have a video on how to find your style on my channel. So yeah, go check that video out. Next glow tip is be confident. You have to work on your confidence, y'all. I don't follow the shade room no more, but I'm gonna keep that to myself, okay? But I'm gonna use them as an example. I used to see the shade room posting two girls in the same outfit and asking who wore better. Both ladies will look absolutely great, but nine times out of 10, you would choose a lady that literally wore it well based on her confidence. Her inner confidence was so strong and shined so bright that it literally showed on the outside. Even for myself, when I'm not feeling confident or when I'm not feeling myself, it literally shows. Like, I don't look my best. So I do think confidence plays a big role in the way you look and also in your glow up. This next tip also has a little bit to do with confidence, but you have to change your mindset and change your perspective about yourself. See yourself as the beauty standard, okay? No, you're not trying to fit somebody else's aesthetic, baby. You are the aesthetic. There's no reason for me to be like anybody else. I am that girl, and I encourage you to have that same mentality, okay? Next tip is to be authentic. I kind of feel like I keep talking about the tip I'm about to move on to, if that makes sense. But yes, be authentic. Be yourself. There is no one that can be you. There is no one that can do you how you do you. So literally being yourself is like your superpower. I love the fact that there is not another me. I love that I'm able to stand out by just being my authentic self. Next tip is constantly work on self growth be open to continuously growing and learning and developing that is the only way that you will get better i always tell myself there is always a notch up what that means is that no matter what we have let's say i have something physical in my hand there is always something better than what i have in my hand therefore this should be a sign that i can always continue developing always continuing growing always continuing learning something whether that's something that's going to help my mentality help my physical appearance help my relationship with god like whatever it is i can always grow and I can always develop and that is such an exciting part of life is just always being able to change and get better which brings us to our next tip is to take risk 
I feel like my glow up really happened when I got out of college and when I decided to move away out of state on my own. Being able to experience something new and see what the world has to offer and really just develop myself and grow completely changed my life. On top of that, I was introduced to like new styles, a new way of life, just new things. So I am definitely an advocate for taking risks. I feel like that is one of the major ways that we get better. Next tip is work with what you have. To glow up, you don't have to go shopping crazy, spend so much money on outfits. You don't have to go to Sephora and splurge on makeup products, honey. Like, I worked with what I had, what was in my closet, and I also worked with my budget financially. If I only had $50 to spend on clothes for the month, then I would get tons of basics that I knew I could wear every day and look good in and look polished on the go. So start by working with what you have and the resources that are at hand. Literally, if you only have a few makeup products, research on YouTube minimal product makeup looks. That's your answer. That's your key. Like literally work with what you have. You don't have to have more to glow up. You just have to do better and know how to use what you have. Next tip is surround yourself with people that are going to make you better. My friends literally made me better. We put each other onto gyms, okay? We do not gatekeep like we're girls, girls. Your friends matter. Who you have around you matters. That plays a huge part in your success. And the last tip I have for you guys is pray. Y'all know I'm going to say this in every video and your girl says this in every video. Spend time praying. If you're not comfortable with who you are or the way you look, literally seek God and ask him for confidence to love yourself so much that you don't want to change anything. But that is all I have for you guys today. I wanted to take a different take on glowing up. I wanted you guys to see that glowing up is not all about your physical appearance. I believe pouring into yourself physically is great, but glowing up is so much more than that. So I wanted to give you guys a different aspect and a different perspective on how you can glow up. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and comment. We are on the road to 1K, 1K, 1K. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.